Hello folks, I'm back at the allotment and it seems like every time I'm here I have to make a video. I can't help myself these days. Um, the weather's been really down for the past uh, past couple of days. It's rained. The weather last night was uh, ground frost. So I've had to be... I'm glad I didn't put loads of things out last week. Like, never cast a clout till May's out. So I've just got a few um, paper pots I've got to make. So I've got a few things to go in the greenhouse. So when I get on with this, I'll uh, just say, cue the music. Dave at the allotment. Dave, what are you after this afternoon? Still cracking on at the allotment. Get the kettle on. It's Dave at the allotment. See you in a bit. Well, it, it feels like winter out there again. I've just popped over to do a few jobs, but I thought while I'm uh, just having a quick cup out of that, I'll make some paper pots. So I thought while I'm, I haven't got much anything else to do, I'll uh, show you how to make one. Straightforward newspaper sheet, fold it over, and then leave like a little about an inch and a half roll it up onto a tube toilet roll tube or a kitchen roll tube well as usual my batteries ran out so I just had to change them as I was saying once you've got your paper rolled up in the tube fold over at the bottom and then slide it out voila now you've got to put them in, into a, like a tray you know so they're all compact together like that and it keeps them all, all together that's how you do that. Simple. Well, the reason I come over the night after work is because I want to get this onion here, pot it up into a bigger pot because since um, Thursday, I think it was, it's doubled in size. I'll show you, I'll show you a comparison. If you can see that. Look, it was like that on, on Thursday, and it's like that now. So, this one looks like it's going to be a champion. Champion. So I'm going to stick it in this uh, bucket here. I've obviously put some holes in the bottom. Um, what I also have done, I've got some of this. I've seen it in B&M's the other week. And uh, they haven't got much of it left, you get... Two, two bags like this for five pound it seems to be canny stuff as well like so I've put I've mixed a little bit into the compost here I'm going to sink this in like I say I want to try and get a, a, a whop out of this here and then hopefully get some seeds off it because this one This was one last year. Um, I thought uh, if I put it in the greenhouse in a pot, it would go to seed, but it hasn't. Uh, it's just rotted away there. So, like I say, hopefully, hopefully this one will come good. And hopefully, I'm doing everything right. Uh, Dan, Dan the man, if you're watching, 
help us. <laughs> Tell us if I'm doing something wrong. I can just get this out here. Should just slide out because I watered it this afternoon. There's the roots. They start to hit the bottom, and they're starting to grow back up. So it's quartered in time there. Eh? Uh, no. Oh, this is a tricky part. Try not to try not to disturb anything. Give it, a, just give it a bit firm down. Hopefully that'll do it for now. I don't know if it needs to go into a bigger pot than that. Um, just yet, well, I don't know how big it'll get. Like I say, Dan, if you're watching, any advice will be well appreciated. So that's that done. I just put it there for now. I'll wrap up here and then I'll give you a quick show of what's been happening when I've done that, okay? Well, what a difference a week makes in the weather. You wouldn't think it was uh, nice and warm last week. Freezing cold now. It's um, quarter past seven. And the wind's picking up. It's uh, It was frosty last night. There was actually a ground frost this morning. So, the winter's not over yet. Not, in fact, it's not over in the northeast. I don't know about anywhere else, but we're not getting good weather for the next week, apparently. Um, anyway, I'll give you a quick run round. Uh, this rhubarb, I'll just get it in amongst it. It's ready. Got some nice bits there. So we're getting some rhubarb crumble with custard and Paula. Paula can have that uh, cream or just by itself. Yeah, there's some more look. Nice thick bits there. So I'll be getting a uh, picking of that in a couple of days. Um, this Hebe, I need to give it a good water and it seems to be, it didn't like the transplant very, very much. Um, this sage seems to be okay. He has another thing I've got and it's just starting to grow. It's um, Rebecca or something, Rebecca, Ruda Becky. Rudabekia or something like that. I don't know. It's just starting to grow like so hopefully I'll get a nice flower. I've never seen them before. Um the golden rods flying up. The pond tadpoles. Let's see if I can zoom in like Paula the camera lady extraordinary can. Well, it's one. Oh, there's two there now. <laughs> hey, what's that Dave doing? Oh, he must be filming quickly. Tell everybody. Right, zoom out anyway. Needs topping up again, actually. Like I say though, it's going to be forecast for rain next week, all this week coming. Now these irises, they're strange. There's no, I got them from the pound shop about three years ago. I got flowers on them um, and I don't know when these flowers are, are going to come. Like, probably still a bit too early, but I, I don't know. This purple rose, the climbing one, that's shooting on canny there now. In this other one, the poor scarlet, get that climbing up there, it's the looking canny once it's done. Anyway, quick run through, I'm getting some strawberries on, well some flowers on, anyway, so that's a good sign. Quite a few actually, so good. The onions I transplanted the other day are in, and they've, they're standing up straight, so they're doing okay. Uh, the garlic, canny, 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 canny. What I did as well, I had a pile of soil here, 
I rated it all back so they've, they've had another they're about four inches deep now um, no sign of them shallots plenty of growth still on this apple tree I hope I hope it's not going to be freezing cold and thingy kill everything um, I put some fleece over that first earlies there the charlottes because um, they will be starting to break through the soil now and I do want I do want to lose them not the champion comfrey test anyway I put me other row of broad beans out so them ones would be okay I'll put another row here and I've got all my bamboo canes out ready to get all my bean section sorted which will leave us a bit space for something else because I'll get me potatoes, me cabbages and brassicas what have you um, in this bed here should be okay herbs are doing fine growing well actually I must have transplanted them just at the right time that's that borage there that's uh, starting to grow canny the rosemary's getting there the, the flowers on ah, lovely lovely smell waft now I think someone said that's fennel I think so I'll take it as it's fennel um, and I don't know what this is if anybody can help us out I'm stuck because I know all the rest now look in there Ian Ian Nocton you're right these look as though they're going to be massive um, someone says it's like a celery sort of taste thing but I don't know I'll take your word for it and uh, they'll probably not taste very nice anyway uh, what have I been doing in the greenhouse I have sowed some other seeds But before that, I'll show you what's happening. Spinach growing there, canny. This kale needs to go out soon. Not not within the next two weeks' time. Hopefully, it'll warm up. Um, because like I say, they need to garn out. The peas that are sowed with Paula started showing. The runner beans are just about to come. But there is no sign of the climbing beans yet. Quite happy with the peas. Um, the coriander is coming on, canny. I sowed some broccoli the other day. So I've got some broccoli seeds sowed in there. And I've got some marigold seeds in there. These onions will be going out in a couple of days. There's the champion. And like, um, like I've said before, always talk to your plants now I give I've give this the best I'm not <clears throat> I'm just going to talk to the plant for a minute folks okay right onion I've done my best for you you've got the best home ever and I'll, look, I'll look after you if you grow and if you don't grow I'm just going to chuck you out because you'll die so it's up to you now fella get growing and I'll look after you. You'll be alright with me, Kira. There, I've talked to it. Should grow now. Um, them Ferrari beans are up. But they'll not be going out just yet. I have put one of them, this cucumber. I've put another one in the big greenhouse. I'll show you in a minute. This one seems to be dying. But the other one's okay. These chrysanthemums. I'm just starting to grow the ones I took the cuttings from Dean Canny actually that one's doing fantastic I'm really pleased with that all, all these um, all my chrysanthemums are autumn ones so that's doing canny so far so I might get a, a football sized chrysanthemum to show you at the end of the season something to look forward to um, my greyhound cabbage, like my kale, needs to be going out soon because it's starting to garn yellow. I transplanted the cabbage, um, what are these? 
Primo. I transplanted them into bigger pots. So they'll be coming on. Them tomato seeds I planted are, are up, but I think it's too late now for them. So I'm not I'm not bothered. Um my leeks are coming on, Connie. I put some more um marigolds in there. Hopefully they'll come up. Not much happening with them um, peppers. But well, this pumpkin's getting massive now. I'm not too sure when I'll plant that out. I, I haven't got a clue about that sort of thing. Never grew one before. Um, this sweet corn, I don't think anything's going to happen to it. So I've sowed some more. Nine more in there. Hopefully something will happen. Aye, that's them other onions there. It's amazing the difference in the size. I've got one, one healthy massive onion to come. Haven't I? onion anyway on with the show before it's time to go oh, wind. it's not a not a warm wind either these flowers uh, this one's up now as well looks weird, like it's got two like a beak <laughs> white crow beak Ah, they look cunning. And there's the tulip. Right, what was I going to show you? <coughs> oh, aye. I've put the cucumber into its final place. I'm going to have to get that door sorted out. Here it is. So I've just sunk it into that pot. Cut the bottom off this, obviously, just like you would with a tomato, you know. I leave a bit of space in here for hopefully some tomatoes. I might get get some from somewhere. This grape, I forgot about this actually. That's a grape cutting I took about four years ago, and it's just started to sprout there now. This one's DNA. Loads of growth all over. Um, nothing else much to show you in here. So I'll just quickly show you in the shed. So I've got something else to show you before I go and get me tea. Right, I see. I've, oh, look, I've uh, spruced up me me sign and action with the siren. Ha. <laughs> um. Hi, I forgot what I was going to do there. There's them um, paper, paper pots. Yeah, I can't speak all of a sudden. It's bloody freezing, that's why. Um, that's them um, paper pots, you put them in a tray like that. Nine. Nine will fit in that little one. And that keeps them up and keeps them straight and all that. And here's a little tip for you now. I was sitting the other day looking at the seeds and I never do it I cannot, play, I cannot say anybody else doing it, it um, doing it either but old seeds won't grow some of these are from 2012 so 2014 or most of them like but still they're old man they're old get rid of them 2013 2013 it's the waste, get get rid of them. What I've did, I've planted some sunflower seeds here. So hopefully I'll get some nice sunflowers and I'll take a picture of Viv. Vivi, if you're watching, there, there's the sunflowers. Um, these potatoes are chitting still, are eat. Coming on, coming on strong, coming on strong, coming on strong. Uh, this will eventually be my bed for my chilies. Now what I did the other week, I forgot to tell you, is I emptied out my compost bin and this is it, all my compost from the compost bin is about three inch deep all the way. I'll add some cow, uh, some chicken pellet stuff as well. 
get it nice and fit, uh, rich, you know. You can see if I can get some whopper carrots, uh, whopper chilies on the go. Um, what else is there? Oh, yeah, what's this? It's a YouTuber. <laughs> just like me, just like you. YouTuber. <laughs> So anyway folks, I'm not good now. Um I wanna go on. I wanna go on. So thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, commenting and liking. It's all it's all appreciated. Thank you very much folks. See you on the next one. Hopefully it's a little bit sunnier. Toronto. <laughs>